www.classcap.com slash en slash tutor slash javi dash montalva learn languages while having fun please check out my website on the comments enjoy the video now we are all ready okie dokie so today we're going to talk about so and such so and such okay do you know this so and such Sí, like such as this and this. Okay. We're going to take a look at how to use them. Okay? So in Spanish, basically, ta, tanto, yeah? So we use so with an adjective or adverb. For example, so stupid, so nice, so quickly, so quick, so whatever, right? And we use such with a noun such a story, such people, okay? If you have an adjective, you put it in the middle, such a big dog, such nice people, right? Okay, Harry, can you read this one? I have had a busy day, I'm very tired. Tired, tired. Uh, Laura, this one? We had a great uh, trip. We had such a, such a good time. Okay. Um, Javi, can I read this one? It was such night weather than we spent. Mm -hmm. The whole day on the beach. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Um, okay. Let's talk about this. So long. Uh, Laura, for you. I haven't seen her for so long. I have forgotten what she looks like. Okay, and uh, Javi, this one for you. Javi, go ahead. I haven't seen her for such a long time. Perfect. Uh, Laura, this one. I didn't know it was so far. Okay, Javi, this one? What? This one, this one. I didn't know it was such a long way. Okay, and we also have so much, so many. So for example, I'm sorry I'm late. There was so much traffic. This is true. I'm sorry I'm late. There was such a lot of traffic. Exactly the same. Okay, let's practice this. So we have to use so, such, or such a, such a. For example, number one says, it was a great holiday. We had such a good time. Okay, how many, number two? Everything is so expensive these days, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Three, Laura. Uh, he always looks good. He wears such mm -hmm. a nice clothes. Such nice clothes. Okay. Such nice yes. clothes. Sing. It's plural. Okay. So such a nice clothes, not such a oh, nice clothes. Yes. Four, Harry. I couldn't believe the news. It was so shock. Mm -hmm. Such a shock. Such a shock. You know, Such a contesta? shock. Yes. So far, so good. Okay. Por ahora todo bien. O sea, se contesta con lo mismo, ¿vale? So, so far, so good. Yes. I hope so. Vale. Tenemos quiet. Tenemos rather. Tenemos pretty. Fairly. So, quiet, rather, pretty, fairly. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué hemos dicho que significa estas palabras? Fairly, quiet, eh, rather. Bastante. Bastante. Yeah. Bastante entendiendo ni mucho ni poco. 
Algo intermedio. Now, um, quiet has another meaning. Quiet tiene dos significados. ¿Ok? Eh, y un poco confuso. Esto es lo que voy a decir. Vale. Quiet sometimes means completely. Del todo, completamente. Me explico. Are you sure? Yes, quite sure. Ok, lo voy a explicar esto en español. Cuando yo sé que quiet significa bastante o completamente. Cuando lo uso como un adjetivo que no es degradable, o sea, que no hay intermedios. Por ejemplo, o tú estás seguro o no estás seguro. No puedo estar un poco seguro. ¿vale? So with all of this, when you use quiet, you mean completely. Quite sure, quite certain, quite right, quite wrong, quite true, quite safe, quite clear, quite obvious, quite different. Okay, Javi, can you read this one? Javi, go ahead. Yeah, yes. She was quite different from what I expected. Expected, expected. Mm -hmm. expected. Laura, go ahead. Everything they said was quite true. Okay. And not quite means the same as not completely. For example, I don't quite understand what you mean. Okay. Let's do some exercises. Um, okay. Which one first? I'm going to try this one. Okay. So here we have part of a sentence, yeah, between brackets, and we need to put them in the right order, okay? So we make up a new sentence. For example, it was quite a nice day. Okay, Javi, number two. Tom likes to sing. He has a quiet voice. Uh -uh. Ah, quite a good voice. Quite a good voice. Exactly. He has quite a good voice. Laura, number three. The bus stop wasn't near the hotel. We had to walk a quite a long way. Perfect. Quite a long way. Quite a long way, what does it That we have to walk a lot. Exactly. Okay. Javi, number four. Number four, Javi. There is a pretty cold wine. A pretty cold what? Wine. Wing, you mean. There's a pretty cold wing. You know wing? Wind? What does wind mean? Viento. Mm -hmm. Not one. Wind. Okay, five. The roads were busy. Mm -hmm. uh, there was quite a lot of traffic. Quite a lot of traffic. Yeah, there was quite a lot of traffic. Perfect. Okay, okay. Six, Javi. I'm tired. I have had a uh -huh. uh, pretty, pretty busy day. Busy, busy day. We had a pretty, I had a pretty busy day. Mm -hmm. Seven. Sarah hasn't been working here long. See. Farley recently started. No, she started fairly, uh, she's fairly I have recently. To put her. Mm -hmm. She started fairly recently. Yes. Okay. She started fairly recently. You understand this? Yes? Yes. Okay, good job. Quite easy, wasn't it? 
Let's try. Uh, yes, no? well. Uh, quad easy no significa muy fácil. Significa bastante fácil. Un poquito. Okay, we're going to do this one now. So, here we have sentences, okay? We have seven sentences with the word quiet. Sometimes the word quiet means more than a little, less than very. Sometimes it means completely. For example, it's quite cold. You need a coat. More than a little. Exactly. It's more than a little cold, yeah? Are you sure? Yes, quite sure. I'm completely sure. Okay, three. Uh, Laura, for example. Anna's English is quite good. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one, more than anything. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, four. I couldn't believe it. It was quite incredible. Mm hmm What do you want me to do? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, take your time. Yeah? Any idea? Yes, completely, completely. Completely, yes. And it was completely incredible. Five. Uh, my bedroom is quite big. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite big. More than a little. Yes, exactly. Six. I'm quite tired. I think I will go to bed. Mm -hmm. La, eh, um, yes. And seven? I quite agree with you completely. Perfect. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to practice. Comparative. Okay, so you already know about comparative, yes? You already know this, I suppose. So, let's review this a little bit, just to remember. We want to say más que, yeah? We have two options in English. You have ER or more, so cheap, cheaper, fast, faster, more serious, yeah? Early, earlier, pretty, prettier, easy, easier, yeah? You know about that, don't you? And then the regular ones, better, worse, further, yeah? Okay. And also you have these words. For example, if you want to change the degree, you can say much cheaper, a lot more difficult, far more difficult, a bit more difficult, a little bigger, a slightly better, yeah? Also, you could say this, better and better, more and more expensive, bigger and bigger. We're going to read a few of these. Um, Javi, this one for you. This one. Your English is improving. It's getting better and better. Okay, do you understand this? Yes. Yes? It's getting better and better? ¿Qué significa? Cada vez va mejorando. Mm-hmm. Okay, Laura, this one for you. The city has grown fast in recent years. It got bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger. Yeah, you understand, right? Yes. Okay. With this comparative, better, worse, jipper, you can also say this kind of thing. So the structure is da, adjective, da, adjective, for example. The sooner the better. The sooner the better? Do you understand? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the bigger the better. The less luggage you have, the better. For example, the younger you are, the easier it is to learn. The more expensive the hotel, the better the service, etc., etc., etc. Okay, we're gonna practice this. So we're gonna do number one. So we need to combine a comparative with a word of uh, degree. For example, the problem is more, much more serious than we thought at first. Much more serious. Yeah. Mucho más serio. Okay, Javi, number two. Javi? This bag is too small. I need something much bigger. There you are, much bigger. Mm -hmm. Laura, number three. I like the museum. It was. A lot, a lot of more, no, a lot more interesting uh, than I expect. Expect. Mm -hmm. A lot more interesting than I expected. Mm -hmm. Four. It was very hot yesterday. Today it's. A little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. Cooler. Yeah? Five. I'm afraid the problem is... I don't know. Much far... No. No. Far... More complicated than it seems. Exactly. Far more complicated. Okay, there is another one I forgot to mention. You can also use this one, way. For example, you can say way better. Yeah? So you can say much better, way better, far better, a lot better, all the same. Yeah? Javi, six. You are driving too fast. Can you drive a little bit slowly, slowly? A little bit or a bit more slowly. Okay. Can you drive a bit more slowly? Seven. Yeah, I thought he was younger than me, but in fact, he is... Slightly older. Slightly. Slightly older. Ligeramente mayor. Okay. We're going to do the other one. No. I'm going to straight ahead to this one. Para. Para más hacer clase de tipo cuanto más, no sé cuánto, más, no sé cuánto. For example, the younger you, you are, the easier it is to learn. No más joven eres, más fácil es aprender. Okay. So we're gonna make up these kind of sentences, okay? For example, it's hard to concentrate when you're tired. Javi, go ahead. So the more tired you are, te lo puedes inventar, ¿vale? Let me help you. The more the difficult hardest. or the harder, yeah, the harder, perfect. The harder it is to concentrate. Yeah? The more tired you are, the harder it is to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Laura, three. We should decide what to do as soon as possible. 
Uh, we should decide what to do as soon as possible. The sooner the better. We decide. Okay. The sooner we decide, the better. Mm -hmm. The yes. Or the sooner the better. Cuanto antes mejor. The sooner the better. Another phrase. The more the merrier. Do you know this one? The more the merrier. What no. does it mean? Cuanto más seamos, mejor. Más felices, literalmente. The more the merrier. Okay. Okay, esto ahora no, no es buena idea. <laughs> Four. Javi, go ahead. So I know more, but I understand less. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know more, but I understand less. The, the more I know, the less I understand. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. The more I know, the less I understand. Cuanto más sé, menos entiendo. Yeah. Five. If you use more electricity, your bill will be higher. The more mm -hmm. electricity you use, it... the bill, no, the higher will be the bill. The bill will be. Remember, adjective, subject, verb. So the more electricity you use, the higher the bill will be. Yeah? Entiende esto? Sí? Okay, okay. Okie dokie. Oh my god. <laughs> okie okay. um, Right. Kate had to wait a long time and became more and more impatient. Okay. The more... She no? Wait, 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 wait. Por favor, puedes quitar ese sure, sure, sure. puntito negro. Shot, sure. no problem. Ahí, ahí. Mm -hmm. Okay, had to wait a long time, became more and more patient. The, mm -hmm. the more time she wait, the more... No, no hace parte de ese time. No, the, long, the longer she waited, right? time no hace falta. The longer she waited, the more impatient she became. ¿Entendemos esta frase? ¿No? ¿Sí? <risa> vale, cuanto más ella esperaba, más impaciente se ponía. ¿Vale? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna practice this kind of thing. Let me give you a few examples. Vale. Vamos a hacer una pequeña competición. O pongo una frase en español con este tipo de estructura, ¿vale? Y me lo decía en inglés, lo más rápido que podáis. Vale. Cuanto más hablo en inglés, mejor es mi inglés. Go. ¿Anyone? Eh, eh, me toca mi hermana. The more you speak English, The more I speak in English, uh, the better it is. There you are. One, Laura one, Javi zero. No, no, no. I'm sorry. She told me first. Tiene que ser rápido, eh? Si lo sabe, me dice ella. Me. No. Okay. Cuanto más cosas compro. Más pobre soy. Go. 
Anyone? Come on. No, sorry. Hey, just, 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 just. Go, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Quick, quick, quick. Espera, espera. <laughs> no? Cuantas más cosas compro. Espera. Me. Okay, go. Tell me. No, no, no. The more things I buy. No, no, no. No, estaba yo, estaba yo. <laughs> vale, ya me lo he dicho al principio, que era lo que fallaba. The more things I buy, the poor, the poorer I am. There you are. The poor I am. Okay. There is a tie. Javi one, Laura one. The more things I buy, the poorer I am. Or you could also say, the more stuff I buy. Yeah? The more stuff I buy, the poorer I am. Menos. Go. Me. Go. Oh, tell me. Tell me. Don't wait. Tell me. I work. Mhm. Mm um, the less I work, the more tired. No. Mm -hmm. See, the more tired yeah. I am. Oh, you are you are right. The more tired I am, the less I work, the more tired I am. Good job. Laura two, Javi one. Right now your sister is beating you. Uh, okay, another one. Mm. Me. Okay, tell me. No, pero si es que, teacher, um, no había ni terminado de escribir la frase. I'm sorry. Don't worry. She makes a mistake. The point is for you. Okay, tell me. Uh, wait, because now I can see the phrase. No? Uh, the more I wait, uh, the more impatient I get. Sorry. Mm, not really. Javi, try. I can see it. My sister no? is the uh, key. Uh, no. It's, it's a joke. How much? The long, the longest. I wait. The longer. I no longest. Longer. The longer I wait it. The longer. The longer I wait, the more impatient. I put. I no 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 no. I put now. I get. I get impatient, or I become impatient, not I put impatient, okay? Cuidadito, no se dice put cuando quiere decir ponerme. Put es poner algo en un sitio, ¿vale? No de ponerse nervioso. Okay? We get nervous or become nervous, not put nervous, okay? Okay. Esta es definitiva. Vamos a un pate, creo, ¿no? La vale, tenéis que ser rápido. No, si me llega el primero, soy ya el premio. Go, eh, mi, mi, mi. Tell me, eh, eh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Ok, sí. Javi, you are the winner today. You win. I am the winner. I won. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Doki. Acordamos por antes que le hemos dicho. Okay, we're gonna. We have ten. Yes, we have twenty minutes. Uh... Yes, I'm the winner. I won to my sister. No, you. No, you won to my sister. No, I beat my sister. I beat I... my sister. Uh -huh. He derrotado a mi hermana. Ok, ¿qué tengo aquí? No, esto es difícil. Vamos a probar algo más fácil. Vamos a ver el curso. 
to difficult make room no, something easier. Okay, we're gonna try this. We'll do a little bit of phrasal verbs. Okay, so we have give up, surrender, cut someone up, dangerous drive in front, do something up to decorate, wrap something up, finish, put on, we have go on, break down, and that's, it. that's about it. Okay, we're going to do some sentences. Hi, can you read this one? I would like to wrap up the meeting with an analysis of the following data. Data, data. Data. Okay, wrap up the meeting. Data, wrap up the meeting, what does it mean? No. Wrap up the meeting, what is that? Presentar, o sea, llegar a la reunión. To finish the meeting. Okay. Uh, vale. Finish. Up, finish. Okay, Lara, can I read this one? Finish. Yes. Having wrapped up all the presents, we put up the decoration. Okay. Wrap up the presents. You understand? Yes? Yes. So you like, wrap up the yes. mm -hmm. You put up decoration. Okay. Okay, Harry, for you. Two hours drive around the woods. One winter morning, I broke myself up in the word mess. Close. Okay, wrap myself up. Do you understand? Maybe stick on rock no es vestirse, es abrigarse. Un poquito diferente. ¿eh? So, aquí tenemos un ejemplo de una expresión wrap up con más de un significado, ¿sí? Ok, ok. ¿Sí? Espérate. ¿Estás listo Vale. Mm. It's a little bit slow. Okay, okay. We're gonna play uh, a Kahoot a wheel. What? Sorry? No. Okay, so we're gonna play uh, the wheel, the wheel of the fortune. Oh. Do you know? Okay. Okay, this wheel. It's all about phrasal verbs, a lot of phrasal verbs. We're going to learn a lot of phrasal verbs today. Okay, let me read the phrasal verb first. So here, uh, you need to make up a sentence by using this phrasal verb. For example, imagine you get this, get out of. So you have to, to make up a sentence like, I got out of the car, for example, yeah? So you have get out of, clear up, pull out, pour down, turn up, take up, take part in. Exactly. You need to make up a sentence by using the phrase of verb. Bear in mind, many of these have multiple meanings. For example, we used to do no, no? Wrap up. Volver, terminar algo, abrigarse, no? Okay. Uh, good luck. This, this one is difficult, I know. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. You don't need it. Okay, that's good. It's a joke, it's a joke. Okay, Laura, you're gonna be first. I need the luck more than anywhere. Okie dokie. Laura, catch oh up with. Year. Laura, for you. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, no, Javi, do you... Yeah, do you know, Javi? No. Sí. Sí, no Are you sure? Okay, go ahead. Make up a sentence by using no, no, catch up with. No, no, Javi, go ahead. No, you don't know either. Catch up with. I catch up with... The problem. Sí. I catch up with the... 
Yeah, you could say that. Okay. Claro, pero es que no sé cómo decir ladrón. ¿Ladrón? Thief. Sí. I catch okay. up with the thief. Okay, let me give you another Once example. You Okay. Well, wait a moment, wait a moment. I'm going to explain this expression. It's not that difficult. So imagine you miss a few days at the school, okay? Because uh, you were ill, whatever, right? So you fell behind. So you need to catch up with the other students. You understand? Or for example, you are running, okay. you are behind, you need to catch up with the other person. The other person. Uh, o con el ladrón, ¿no? You need to catch up with the thief. Ponerte a la misma altura, claro. cogerle, ¿no? Un puntito. Un puntito. Un yes. de puntito. <laughs> puntito. Ok. Javi, for you. Let's see. And up. Hola, es que le tocan unas más sencillas. Ay. <laughs> I ended up with the last person. No. Terminé con la última persona, o sea, la maté. No, no, sorry. Not correct. Laura, try again. Uh, finally, we end up uh, going to the restaurant. You don't need to say finally. You just need to say I we ended up. Fred, it was correct. 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 But remember, end up means finally. Correct. Ah, okay. Yes, so, I know, but I think. Mm -hmm. uh, no, nothing that. No, say. I don't know what I have to say. So, we ended up going to the restaurant. So, for example, We wanted to go to the beach, but we ended up going to the restaurant, yeah? Okay. Javi. Let's see which one you get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pick on. Pick on. How do you say this? Hey, Javi, go ahead. Do you know? Yes, yes. I pick on the radio no that's a mix it's a speak up it's a speak up okay laura do you know no nobody knows no okay i'm gonna give you an example my brother is always picking on me do you understand my brother what my brother is always picking on me I don't know the meaning. Always picking. Picking, picking, yes. Picking on me. Picar. Copiarse. No. Let me show you. It's like this. For ah, example. Exactly. To bully. Like my brother with me. Sí. <laughs> Does your brother pick on you? So, Batman is always picking on Robin. No, I don't know. Yeah? So, that's, that's how you always pick on you? Yes? No, no one so, picks on anyone. Abusar no, te tienes que meter con los de tu tamaño. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Let's see. Whose turn is it? Uh, what's Laura's turn? Was it? Yes. Yes. Laura, for you. Count on. Eh. Eh. Okay, I know a song that has that, but okay. I don't know the meaning. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, that, that's the worry. Tell me. Like, you know the song of Bruno Mars that said, Count on me like one, two, three, yeah, I need Exactly. There. Count on me, yes? Do you understand what this is? 
What is it? Yeah, do you understand? No, I don't know the meaning, but... Okay. Let me explain to you. If I say... Okay. Mm -hmm. If I say count on me, it's like saying, trust me. Trust me. You can trust me. Yeah? You understand? Oh, okay. Count. You can count on me. I will never fail you. Yeah? Javi, do you understand? Yeah, yes. I want mm -hmm. you on me. Hey, okay. Javi, let's see if you get this one right. Two one, we are two yes. one. Yes. Javi, build up. I need to build up a label. Not really. Build up a Lego. Build up no. a Lego. No, you cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Laura, try. Build up. Make up, yes. I have a big No? No. Okay. You need to build up your vocabulary, for example. Or you need to build Mesmerage. up your... Exactly. Reforzar. Your confidence. Mm -hmm. Reforzar, mejorar, exactly. Uh. So you need to build up your confidence, for example, yeah? Very good expression, by the way. Let's see. Whose turn is this? Uh, Laura's turn, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Look up. Very easy. Uh, I look up to my mother. Okay, that's actually another one, but very good. So in English you have no. two of them. No, 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 no. Yeah? Yes. It was to... correct. Yes. Yeah, look up to... Admire, admire. I yes. look up to like admire. Look up. Yes. Look up. Look up. Okay. What about if I say this? If you don't know what it means, look it up on a dictionary. Uh. Look it up. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah? Javi, do you? Yes, yeah, yes, me. Yeah. How say it in Espanol? Look, because look up. I'm not a picado. So, look up to is another expression, actually. A very good example. I really liked it. Do you know the opposite of look up to? What is the opposite? Look down on. Exactly. Good. You're on fire. Yes. I'm going to give you two points only for that. Two points for you. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Javi. Maybe you can, you can still beat her, okay? I don't know what to Four do. 4-1. One. 4-1. One. We are winning. Okay. <laughs> Fallout. Fallout. Javi. Eh... Eh. Ah. Ah. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, I, I swear that I know. Fall Guys Ultimate Fallout is a is a very popular game. Yes. Venga, venga, chaval. Venga, chaval. Utilizando conocimientos gamer. Utilizando conocimientos gamer. Aquí también se sacan las cosas. <laughs> Okay, give, give me a sentence. Give me a sentence with Fallout. No, no, but you don't give me the name of the game. Give me a phrase with Fallout. 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 I was dreaming and I and I and I dreamed that I fall out into a precipice then I realized I was dreaming. No really. Let me show you. I fall out of the stairs. Mm, you fall down the stairs. Uh. Okay. Let me show you guys. Okay, Fallout has two different meanings. 
I'm going to show you here. For example, you could say your hair is falling out. For example, my hair is falling out, yeah? Se cae el pelo. Or you can fall out of bed. Te puede caer de la cama. You fall out of bed, yeah? But fall out also means this. To argue. So you can fall out with your sister. You can fall out with your parents. Yeah? You stop being friends. You fall out with your um, your ex boyfriend over a discussion, yeah. So, se fall out is como pelearse con alguien o se cae algo, no? El pelo de la escalera, ¿cómo se decimos? Caerse de la escalera. I fall down. Exactly, fall down. Solo por decirlo me, me merezco el punto. Sí, te lo que me hace el punto. ¿Y cómo se dice caerse de, de un caballo? I fall, fall in. No, fall in. Vale, voy a explicar esto. Hola. Vale. Vale. Lo voy a explicar con una imagen, ¿vale? A ver si lo encuentro. Vale, aquí está la imagen. Vale, vamos a ver con fall. ¿Vale? Aunque parezca mentira, en inglés hay varias formas de caerse. Depende de la dirección, se usa uno u otro. A ver si me deja abrir esto. ¿Me deja? Vale, da igual. ¿Se ve esta imagen aquí? ¿Sí? Bastante lento esto. Are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes? Yes? Okay. So you fall down the stairs. You fall down a hole. You fall down a mountain, yeah? Mm -hmm. You fall over, fall over a casa suelo. Vale? Or you fall over an object, yeah? Fall off a casa de algo que estás montado. O que estás encima. Vale? You fall off a horse, you fall off a chair, you fall off, um, the, I don't know, a ladder. Yeah? Can you see this? Yeah? Vale, cuando te caes de la cama, fall out of bed, fall out of a plane, también podría ser, ¿no? te caes de un avión, you fall I out a window. You. Vale, si te metes dentro de algo, decimos fall into, you fall into a hole. Pero también se puede decir fall into my arms. Caer en mis ah, brazos, ¿no? Es como caer en algo, ¿no? Exactamente. Caer dentro de algo. Ah, vale, vale. Metafóricamente o físicamente. También se dice fall in love. Enamorarse. Caer en amor. Y también desenamorarse es fall out of love. ¿Vale? Entendemos esto de fall down, fall over, fall off. ¿Sí? Vale, voy a dar ejemplo a ver si entendéis. Imaginaros que estoy eh, encima de una pared y me caigo de la pared. ¿Cómo se diría? ¿No? ¿Cómo sería? Fall down, fall over, fall off, fall in. I don't know. Javi, do you know? Okay. Estoy subido en la pared, ¿vale? Y me caigo de la pared. ¿Cómo digo eso? Me caí de la pared. Ah, follow. Exactly. I fell off the wall. Vale. Eh... Ah, creo que más o menos se ha entendido. Ok, we're going to continue. What's the score, by the way? I forgot. The last one. The last one? Really? No, no, no. We have to do more than We need to do five more, at least. Think of us, vale? Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the score? Eh? What's the score? Eh... Four, two. 
Who's winning? You? Yeah? Yes. yes. Laura? Okay. Okay, okay. So, we're going to go now, eh? Yeah, yes. Vale. Mm, who's turn is Laura, yeah? Okay. Yes. Right. Mmm, make up. A lot of different meanings. Muy fácil. It can be a, a, a noun. Yeah, yeah, you can use it. Go ahead. Uh, I make up with my friends for the party. Mm, no, not really. I make up the bed for you. Creo que no entendé lo que significa make up. I make up a bed for you. No. Sorry. Oh, I'm going to give you another chance. No significa hacer, ¿vale? No es hacer. Make up no es make. Mm, a ver. Y además, este, este tiene hasta ocho significados diferentes. Depende de cómo lo use. Incluso más de que yo. ¿No? A ver. Let no, me see. No, now Laura's turn. Give me a sentence, Laura. I'm going to give you another chance. No? Muy fácil. No sé por qué. Pero no. The makeup we do for the party. No, the makeup. Eh, I have done for. No sé. Ok, no te preocupes. Voy a mirar lo que está. Ah, makeup tiene un montón de significado. Lo voy a explicar en español para que entere bien. Vale. Makeup puede ser lo contrario de fall out with. ¿Nos acordamos de fall out with? Yes. ¿Qué significa fall out with? Eh, fall out with. Eh, caerse from. No, no, no. No es el sentido de fall out with. Es ah. el otro sentido. No. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo. I fell out with my parents. What? I fell out with my parents. Javi, do you remember? You do. Me peleé con mis padres. ¿Vale? Fall out es que te peleas con alguien y le dejas de hablar, ¿no? Pues así, ¿vale? Ok, ¿ya? Yeah? Yes. Make up can be the opposite. For example. I fell out with my ex, but now we made up again, for example. So if you make up with someone, it means you are friend again. Yeah? You understand? You are friend again. ¿Vamos a en español? ¿Qué sería make-up? Reconciliarse, ¿no? Yes. ¿Hacerse, ¿Hacerse amiguito otra vez? Ah, yes. Vale, te doy más okay. significado. Vale, make-up con el guión es maquillaje. Seguramente lo habéis visto un montón de veces, ¿no? Por ejemplo, she wears a lot of make-up. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Makeup también significa la combinación. Cómo algo está compuesto. Por ejemplo, Organization ability is not one of the most obvious parts of his makeup. O por ejemplo, um, I don't know. This table is made up of four legs. ¿Entendéis esta frase? Sí. Yes. Let me type it here. This table is made up of four legs. Yes, yes, we understand. 
Ok. Uh, voy a dar otro más. Y es lo que también estamos haciendo ahora, ¿no? ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahora con las frases? Make up sentences. Estamos inventando unas frases, ¿no? Sí. So, make up a sentence. ¿Sí? Uh, y, yes. y también, si yo te digo, you are making it all up. You are making it all up. ¿Te lo estás mentando todo? ¿O en otra palabra? Estás mintiendo. Okay. ¿Vale? Y tiene más edificado, pero lo voy a dejar ahí. Vale, lo voy a dejar ahí. Pues esa la otra vez. Vale. Ok, Javi's turn. Go ahead. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Very easy. <laughs> Piece of cake. I seen a uh, at the football. At the football club. I seen a uh, in the football club. Not sing up, it's sign up. A poner la pronunciación solo para que resultado. Ok, you sign up in a football club. Ok. Inscribirse, ¿no? Darse de alta. Yes. Va, crazy. Point for you. Ok, what's the score? Three, four, yeah? Sí, yes. sí. Ok, Laura. Good one. Take up. Uh, I te take up swimming classes. Good. Point for you. So you, you took up swimming. Mm -hmm. Apuntarse a algo, ¿no? O ponerse a hacer algo. Mm -hmm. Hay otro significado. Y si sabe alguien el otro significado, se lleva dos puntos. Take up ¿No? your bottle. No. How I you know? take up. No. El otro significado es ocupar. A mí, a mí, a mí. I take up a home in Newcastle. No. Sorry. It's take up uh, all the bedroom. Mm, eso sí podría Pero... Arma, arma una frase un poquito más complicada. Ponme un objeto. No me diga it takes up. Dime, háblame de algo que yo sepa. The pens take up all the space of the suitcase. Ok, that's a good one. Point for you. Two points. So, for example, I'm going to give you another one. Right? The last one, okay? My job takes up a lot of my time. Do you understand? Yes? Yes, yes. Okay. So, today's winner is Laura. Yes. Yes. No, no. I am the cleaner and you are the loser. I'm sorry. <laughs> Learn English with Javi Fontalba. The place where you can learn English. www.classgap.com slash en slash tutor slash javi dash fontalba please follow me on youtube and instagram subscribe and share see you soon